Hi guys, welcome back again from Turks and Caicos. Uh, this is the last video probably. So you can see the uh, Grand something Grand Bay Beach, yeah, for sure. And see the beauty. Uh, it's around 9 a.m. and today is March 20. Uh, sorry, April 21st, 2017. Um, you can see a lady coming. They're enjoying a lot. Okay, so through this video, I'm giving you some information. It's uh, uh, regarding uh, their population and their food, uh, culture, transportation, and everything. So, uh, the first of all, population uh, in this island. I mean, in the total island, there are uh, four or three or four uh, islands in this uh, in the Turks and Caicos. So, they have only 35,000 people live here in this island and there are okay uh, i'm in the grace bay area i mentioned to you and the food i'm giving you some idea about the food so the food is everything is imported and huge expensive and compared to usa or canada uh, okay one piece of uh, cheesecake uh, around ten dollars and the uh, you know, first thing you you may expect is only fish so um, I would uh, recommend whenever you come uh, be prepared to eat extra fish because uh, fish is uh, not uh, not that expensive but uh, fresh and from the local groceries you can buy anything you want and I mean uh, in North America whatever you need they have everything from the frozen to fresh but everything is important except fish that I mentioned to you and the transportation they have local transportation but uh, unfortunately I didn't see any bus they have only one local bus system it's like Canada and our American you know school uh, bus system they have so that's the only transportation they have and for taxi yeah it's expensive and everything you have to pay in US dollar uh, and you can actually hire a taxi if you have a valid driving license North American or any other driving license I believe and uh, it's not expensive like Avis or uh, Hertz are there okay and taxi drivers everyone actually expects uh, around 10 percent what um, between 10 to 20 percent uh, service charges so you have to carry a lot of cash with you yeah so uh, you don't feel embarrassed whenever you uh, want to uh, pay tips um, about hotels okay you can choose uh, Trivago or Xperia uh, to stay over here uh, if you want to explore I would suggest you to uh, book only for one or two days uh, through Trivago so don't come here only for one night or two nights because you will not enjoy it. There are lots of things to enjoy over here. Uh, and uh, so if you want to explore, what you can do, you can, um, what should I say, like book with the Xperia and then later on uh, you can uh, take, uh, hire a taxi and then you can go to uh, the local um, resorts or uh, local you know hotels which is cheaper and you can save money and also okay now go for the education <laughs> okay this is funny they don't have any university at all uh, in this island so even not big colleges because it's only 35 000 people, right and so what they do they go to Jamaica USA or UK um, okay once you're born here you are a British citizen why because this island is uh, totally uh, administered by British so so automatically the people who born here they are British citizen and about their economy well their economy totally totally based on um, uh, fishing uh, I mean conch farm and uh, fishing and of course on tourism so tourism is the uh, biggest way they can they are making huge money and per capita income I can't give you exact figure 
but that's roughly 50 to 60 thousand US dollar per capita income okay roads so the these roads are left-handed so you have to be prepared to drive the left hand not on the right side so be be careful while you drive you might make mistake and you get horned uh, well another thing you can get horned each time it's uh, while you walk uh, on, on the street then taxi driver thinks uh, you you might uh, take a taxi so they put a horn that's very common system over here about the people people are very very nice they are helpful they don't ask you for money or they don't want to cheat you so yeah uh, even uh, you know leaving your personal belongingness in the um, in this uh, i mean we said the beach is um, not a problem you you can get it back i mean nobody is touching your stuff okay uh, people don't laugh much uh, uh, because i'm from canada and i see uh, or from i uh, originally i'm from bangladesh so i see people uh, laugh a lot in uh, back home or in canada but here hmm, you can say yeah people don't uh, laugh but not much but they're good i, I told you um, they don't have any driving uh, uh, i mean time sense what i mean by that if you, they say okay it's a five minutes drive actually it's a, just two minutes drive i'm giving you an example yesterday we went to a fish and fry festival so that was exactly five minutes driving from our uh, hotel and they said it's a 15 minutes drive i said wow it's 15 minutes how come that far but actually it was not okay about weather so it's typically uh, between uh, um, 25 degrees to 35 degrees uh, plus and uh, all over the uh, year so you can enjoy any time you like uh, but the best season to come over here is between late November to um, end of March because the, that time weather is perfect you can go for uh, snorkeling or uh, what does it call scuba diving and you can see the underworld i mean underwater world <laughs> that i mean not underwater okay and the people weather yeah okay life okay if you are a uh, i mean if you are looking for a happening city this is not a happening city at all uh, people usually sleep by 8 or 8 30 after evening you feel oh my gosh it's so boring you have nothing to do here just you uh, in this island i told you i mentioned you before so many times so it's just calm and quiet and and it's enjoyable totally enjoyable okay finally i want to advise you on a few things what are those so take cash that's us dollar they use only us dollar over here so bring as much as you can uh, on an, uh, to give you an idea on an average every day for food for one person you have to spend uh, roughly for your breakfast around 15 bucks uh, for lunch around between 50 to 20 bucks and same thing for the dinner okay and second thing um, you can take uh, two big conch while you live here because conch are very much uh, available uh, okay and uh, okay what more okay learn swimming before you come here because that's important Learn scuba diving, I mentioned. See the underwater world. That's important if if you like it. And buy beach bag because one beach bag costs. And also, uh, I should say, you know what? Buy a lot of lot of sunscreen. And uh, uh, 
spray for the bugs is really expensive over here so if you buy uh, as, as many as possible that will, that will help okay hope uh, this video was helpful for you and uh, thank you so much for watching and keep subscribing me i'll um, uh, upload some more videos uh, again on uh, uh, other other islands maybe uh, in canada or in the states so uh, for now i want to uh, say th thank you again and pardon me for my accent i, I say it too many times but yeah my accent is worse doesn't matter uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this video that's that's important and see the nature of the building okay thank you guys see you again bye